Hello, and welcome to another tutorial uh, in how to make a game in XNA. And uh, I'm actually going to just add an extra E in here because I spelled create object wrong. Yeah, I know, it's dumb. Okay, so now we have all our attributes. You know, we got our class attribute, we got our X. X attribute and Y attribute now to actually do stuff with it. So uh, I'm going to uh, make a switch statement right here. And I'm going to make the switch statement dependent on the class variable. So depending on what the class variable is, I'm going to do a different thing with it. So I'm going to uh, create basically a different object. So uh, let's say if like in one case uh, we type in a wall. Uh, well, what will we do? Well, well, we'll create a new, uh, we'll add a new object, wall object to our object list. So, create a create object list dot add. We'll create a new wall, and we'll need a new vector too. Uh, actually, I forgot to insert the Microsoft XNA dot framework into this class so I'm just gonna do that right now just so we don't have to have this long thing right here so create a new vector 2 and just input the X and Y uh, integers we just uh, got through our get attribute get attribute uh, method so uh, that's how we're going to so that's what we're gonna do in the case where uh, it's a wall so now I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to look at what other items we have. Well, we have wall, we have a man, we have a spawner, and we have a box. So uh, that's like three other things, I think. Man, I have short term memory, sorry. <laughs> man, box, and what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, spawner. Spawner. So, next thing we want to do is add, we just want to change the class name uh, to box, man, and spawner. So now, what we can do is add XML into this uh, XML database, and we can call this, let's minimize all our methods, and we can call this read map uh, method and it will attempt to read our map and add all those objects to our object list. So uh, let's actually uh, comment out all of this right here. Just comment that all out and go to our game and I'm going to what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to call it at the beginning at the beginning of our game. So uh, Hmm, where should I call it? I'll call that the lo load content method. So uh, I'll create a new map reader. So I'll say, uh, let's see, what, what should I say? I'll say static, actually you no, know just say map reader, map reader equals new map reader, okay? don't have to pass in any arguments since we didn't make a constructor uh, and we just have to call read map and then pass in a string so let's say read map reader dot read map and uh, pass in a string and it's called what is this uh, file called it's called object database dot xml so object db dot xml so that's all we need. So hopefully it will work. It's going to read our map and add those objects to the object list. So let's go ahead and debug this and see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. It seem it seems like uh we were missing something. Uh okay. Okay guys, I think I figured out the problem. Uh, what happened is uh, we're searching for in our get attribute method we're searching for the ending 
uh, what do you call this? Ah, forget it. For ending quote. Uh, we're actually searching a little bit short, so it's actually finding the this quote right here. Uh, that's right at the beginning of our uh, attribute of our value. So we're finding the wrong quote. We want to find this one. That's because it's starting search uh, at one plus the position where it found this class right here, which is here. So searching, searching, it finds the first quote, which is right there. We want it to search after this first quote. So and we want it to search there. So uh, what we want to do is actually start at a further position. And we want to start right here. Um, we want it to start at this string plus that length. We want to add the length of that string plus one and start searching there. So let's go ahead and run it. Oops, still debugging. Actually, I still need to work out some things. Yeah, actually, we have to do the same thing with the start. So, actually, uh, we can actually get rid of this, and we can just add it to the start. So, start equals position plus uh, that. So, right now, start is at the beginning right here. So, we want start to be right here. Uh, actually, we want it to be right there. So, we want this to be plus one. Uh, so there we go. That's going to be the start. Uh, let's go ahead and actually, I'm going to test it before I waste you guys time. Okay, no. Um, yeah, we should have it like that. So if we get that plus one. Uh, yeah. Actually, no. I'm going to pause it so I don't waste you guys. Yeah. So actually, since we. Uh, we actually don't need this plus one right here, so it's just end minus start. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, one thing I forgot is we actually shouldn't have this right after all the load content stuff. We want it after uh, it loads all the content in the object list. So first, we want to actually read uh, all the objects and then load their content, not the other way around because that would be dumb. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it spawned our little wall here, which is in our code, except we did it, we spawned like one, two, three, four, five walls. So uh, let's go ahead and change it. So let's add a wall here. Uh, let's add a wall 32 pixels to the right. And let's add a wall. 32 pixels to the left and let's add a spawner spawn -er at 50 by 50 I'm just picking random numbers and that's our add our man uh, and like psh, mm, 120 actually 100 32 okay so that should be good so let's go ahead and run our game and as you can see look all our objects spawn perfectly and it was all from that just that one XML file amazing right pretty cool so uh, I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial so uh, dang it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I hope you to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.